Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Okay guys, I got me a pot of lead there melted. Then scooped the slag out of it. I don't know where that dirt comes from. And it seems like if I let this cool down and remelt it, there's more dirt in it. <laughs> I got me some tin cups there on my scale. Now I weighed all them sinkers, it came up to two and a half pounds, 2.4, but we're going to make this ingot two and a half, so, because uh, it sits, I had all that lead piled right there, well, the, I'm going to make that ingot fit right there, so it's going to be back just a little bit, so we're going to make it 2.5, okay, now I got the dogs in the house, I don't want them running around under my feet while I'm doing this. Okay, let's turn the scale on. Me and Dad have been making sinkers since I was a kid. Our own fishing sinkers, you know. Love this little heater. You know when I, when I had my boat, my fishing boat, we used to take that thing. Me and Balcom used to fish in the winter time and everything. Man, rainy, cold, and rainy. Well, my boat. <clears throat> had that walk through you know by the windshield where well, we put my I had a big tackle bag that blocked that whole hole when the window was down <coughs> we'd put that heater right there and then we had one of them old-fashioned coffee pots you know the uh, percolator type put on a stove so me and John could be trolling making a pot of coffee baby keeping warm <laughs> I would see them guys in them bass boats in the rain, you know, just freezing. When me and old Balco was cruising, sipping on our hot coffee. And I kind of shaped the bottom of that to where it'll fit there. And I got two layers of wood there to kind of protect my scale from the heat. That's going to make a pretty nice little ingot right there. And that should fit right in that trough. I'm hoping. No, I'll take a hammer and we'll make her fit, baby. Might have to do a little foreman. And then uh, I didn't have to melt any of my sinkers. See? That's hot. Hot, hot lead. Actually, it's silver, guys. I use, I don't like using silver or lead. I use real silver. <laughs> real hunk of gold in there, baby. No, it's lead. It's lead, but me and Dad have been making our own fishing sinkers yet. Yeah, it's well ventilated, windy day today. And, um, so it's well ventilated. And me and Dad have been making sinkers since we was a kid. I got a couple molds around here, as a matter of fact. I made these. These are for flat or flathead fishing at Lincoln Street, baby. take a minute to cool but then I'll fasten that in that nose and uh, we'll be ready to roll then I need to weigh it I might just go to the dog my cousin's supposed to bring his uh, race car scales over and he's never made it I got one set of bathroom scales if I go by the dollar store and get two more cheap sets then all I gotta do is put this on the ground, put each wheel, put a scale under each wheel, and add them all up. And that'll give you the correct weight. Come on, baby. Cool, let's 
just going to take it a while. We're just going to let it sit. But that's how you melt some lead. I mean, Dad, when I was a kid, used to do that on Mom's stove. <laughs> you're making sinkers, baby. But I know you got to keep it ventilated when you do this stuff. And, uh, that, that little stove right there. Hot. It only took a couple minutes to melt that. It only took a couple minutes to melt that lead. You know, that little heater thing gets hot. Hot, hot. Yeah, she's starting to set up. Alright, guys, I'll be back with more from the shop. I'm going to mount that lead in there. Then we're going to hang it up again and test it. You know, if we're off a little bit now, then I can just use my my sticky weights. But I should be real close. So, until then, we'll see you guys back in the shop.